You two, welcome back. Get some, some close up of the puffer and a little quick update on the tank. So the phosphates, they're still okay. They're still real low. The nitrates are only about 30. Uh, they're coming down with that new reactor that I set up, which is good. Reef Underground, which is also named as Reefer James. I'm not using sugar. Don't worry. There's only two spoonfuls. That's only when they're really high. But I'm letting the pellets uh, do the work. I'm going to watch the, the uh, nitrates until they come down. If they go down to zero, I'll take a little bit of those pellets out and get it to where you know you have a tiny bit, but not too much. I understand the pellets can strip the water of all the nitrates and you want a little bit and uh, also with the phosphates too so if uh, next time I check the phosphates if they're still zero or something like that then I'll reduce that uh, the media in that reactor but um, <clears throat> when I first started I put the recommended dosage and in a couple days they came down so that was really good guys look like they're irritating each other fighting a little bit so the tank looks really good um, everything's doing okay I've got the bubble algae on the other tank I'm going to take all that out all the corals out and put it in my uh, quarantine tank and I'm going to take all the gravel out get rid of it go bare bottom in that tank uh, which it'll look cool it's white so all the colors will kind of pop with that white uh, bottom and I'm just gonna go that route so I'm gonna take all the corals out I'm going to <clears throat> put those dip them put them in a bucket scrape off all that green uh, bubbles algae off um, I'm hoping that it doesn't come back everyone's telling me it has spores which I, I've known it's probably how it spreads so much I one of the one of the pods probably broke and so I'm just gonna just use just the corals, take all that rock out of there, get rid of it, and buy some more uh, rock for them. Just put the corals back in there on the bottom and go that route. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna have another video coming out soon. Um, I don't have time yet to do the UV sterilizer, but I will. And I think I might do the sterilizer, have that up and running before I do that with that tank. So let's say you know maybe I'll have a chance of it. Uh, killing some of the spores if they start spreading everywhere. So I'm going to leave you with another close-up of the puffer. These fish are just amazing. <clears throat>